go ahead and transition, though, to the, the Olympics in 2020. This is an amazing story. Four years ago, Sandy Moore's pole vaulted her way to a silver medal in Rio Olympics. In 2020, she's on a quest for gold, and she's doing phenomenal, I guess, in the buildup to the Olympics. But as Erin Nolan found out, she is doing way more than just training on her way to the Olympic trials in June. Running, stretching, jumping. This is what you expect from an Olympic medal hopeful. It was a silver medal in Rio four years ago, but now American pole vaulter Sandy Morris has her sights set higher. Now I'm a veteran. Um, going into it, there is a little bit more pressure. I have more eyeballs on me now. But Sandy has a small secret to sidestep stress. Kind of matches my shirt. When she's at home, Sandy is more than just a world-class athlete. She's also kind of a zookeeper. I have a fascination with reptiles specifically. From dogs to birds to geckos to skinks to plenty of snakes. This is Clementine. She's a red-tailed boa constrictor, but she's what's called sun glow, which is very similar to albino. My animals are definitely my escape from my busy, busy life. These slithering companions have been a passion for years. I've had this guy since seventh grade. His name is Fang after Hagrid's dog and Harry Potter. Sandy is a newlywed, but her husband is away at school in Texas, which makes for another key reptile role for the occupants of this room. Between being at home, taking care of my animals, and then being on the road pole vaulting, it's, it's a good balance. From vaulting to reptiles. Hey, buddy. This is just what makes Sandy. <laughs> This is normal. Sandy. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's not weird for me. It's totally normal. <laughs> All right, but it's more than just pets. Sandy's two lizards just had babies, 13 of them. The one on her face, though, she's going to keep. All right, as for pole vaulting, Sandy had a fantastic indoor season. She's now gearing up for outdoor season, which, of course, culminates with a hopeful run to Tokyo. Back to you. Oh, that's... <laughs> Can you I'm glad Aaron Nolan is doing all of our Olympic stuff this year. You wouldn't be able to handle going in oh, there. Oh, no, I'll be like, Sandy, this ain't going to work. We got to <laughs> pull the plug, camera crew pack up. We got to get out of here. Pat's joining us right now. Can we widen out right there? But, yeah, pretty special, though. Mm -hmm. um, she is super talented. Aaron and I were talking pound for pound, probably one of the best athletes yeah. in the country. Did you see that kind of, like, pull-up thing she did upside it's down? Oh, yes. man. You like, see the core and gauge? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, you, you were a track and field star. Yeah, I never did you know? pole vaulting, though. That's next level. So she uh, just finished an event, I would say, within the past month, where you know how pole vaulters go. You start where you feel like is a good height to go through. She almost waited till everyone was done because she's so much better than mm -hmm. everyone else. So her first jump is usually a lot of people's best jump. Yeah, wow. it's so, impressive. Uh, yeah. Hope we'll keep an eye on her, and hopefully all that stuff gets cleared up and the Olympics still goes she's on. She's just being nice to people who have to keep raising the yeah, pole. Yeah, don't raise it just yet. You wait <laughs> I get up there. That's I, I love seeing them in their element, too, like what they do on the side. So oh, that's nice. Like that I'm going to keep it real. Oh, no, I can't hang out with Sandy. I can't hang out with you, at least at your place. Can't do it. Yeah. Well,